In today's Baby Alive videos, we're going to watch some pretty cute Baby Alive adoption stories with happy endings. Mm, hello? Hey, hey, you, little girl. Excuse me. Hi. Do you think your mom's going to adopt me? Lisa. Hey, Derek. Lisa. Bella's Adoption Story Hey Missy Moose, today I'm going to tell you a very special story. Everyone knows Jackson. Jackson is Bailey and Brianna's neighbor who likes to play loud music. He also goes to high school and dates Miley. But did you know that Jackson has always been an only child? Well today that changed and Jackson's life will never be the same. Let me tell you the story of how Jackson's family adopted a baby girl. When Jackson's mommy and daddy had Jackson, they didn't think they would have another baby. He was quite a handful. But now that Jackson is a little bit older, they really miss having a little baby run around the house. And it just so happened that a few months ago, a little baby girl got delivered to the hospital that needed a family. And there she was, as cute as it can get. She didn't have a name yet. The nurses put a little wristband around her that said Baby A. A for adorable. And this little adorable girl was meant for Jackson's family. So as soon as she got delivered, they got the phone call that their new addition to the family was ready. Uh, hi. Um, I'm Jackson. I'm gonna be your big brother. Um, you can just call me Jackson. Actually, you're pretty adorable, so you can call me whatever you want. I don't even think you can talk for now anyways. Yeah. Uh, I'm so excited to be a big brother. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna teach you a lot of stuff. Also, I brought you this cute little troll doll. It's for you. I picked it up. Um, do you want it? Of course you do. All babies like toys. Okay, Jackson, we filled out all the paperwork. How have you been getting along with your sister? Oh, she's pretty adorable. I like her. I think she likes me. Of course she would like you. Come here to mommy. Oh, I've been waiting forever to hold her. It's been so long since I've held a baby. <laughs> oh, I think she's crying because she's not used to me. She sees me as a stranger. Um, Mom? Hey, Mom? Do you think I could hold her? I want to try. Okay, Jackson. Uh, she stopped crying, Mom. Look. Oh, isn't that adorable? She really likes you. Oh, that's cool. Of course she does. All the ladies like me. Well, Jackson, what do you think we should name her? Uh, I don't know. Well, I was thinking we could name her Bella because Bella means in Italian, beautiful. And she's beautiful and sweet. What do you think? Huh, Bella. This is my baby sister, Bella. I like it. Good, then that will be her name. Now that this baby had a name, she did not need her wristband anymore. So the hospital cut it off. Her name was not Baby A anymore. It was Bella. And Bella was ready to go home with her new family. Are you ready, baby? Come on, let's take you home. Uh, hi Miley, it's Jackson here. Oh, I'm good. How are you? Oh, thanks. Uh, I miss you too. 
Listen, I was wondering, is there any way you could come over and help me babysit Bella? She's sick and, well, she won't stop crying. And, um, yeah, also, like, I'd like to see you. Oh, you can come over? Oh, that's great. Thanks so much, Miley. I'll see you soon. Yeah, okay, bye. Oh, awesome. Man, I thought I was going to be stuck all by myself with a baby today. Babysitting is hard. Oh, poor Bella. Poor, poor Bella. There, there, Carol. It's going to be okay. Uh, what do you think is wrong with her? I don't know. I think she's just uncomfortable, Jackson. I mean, she has a cold after all. Do you have anything we can put her up in, like, so she can sit up? Because she's probably stuffy. Hey, how about you put that baby carrier on? The one over there on the floor. And then we can put Bella in it. Uh, no way. I'm a guy. Guys don't wear those things. Jackson, I've seen tons of guys wear those. Yep, not this guy, though. Jackson, don't be silly. Put it on, please, so I can feed Bella. Oh, <sighs> fine. This is so not cool. I hope Miley's not going to tell anybody at school about this. Bella, you better not throw up on your big brother, okay? Ta-ta-ta. Ta-ta-ta-ta. Oh, Jackson, you look so adorable carrying your baby sister. Thanks, but you know I look adorable even without carrying her in a carrier. Why didn't we put her on the high chair to feed her? Because, Jackson, she's grumpy. Now I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Oh, man. Hey, Bella, how's it hanging? <laughs> ta 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 Oh, I'm so funny. Okay, Jackson. Here we go. I got the bottle for baby Bella. Here we go, Bella. Have some milk. Is she liking it? She sounds really hungry. I think so. She's all done now. She's such a good girl. She drinks the bottle really, really fast. What a good girl she is. Hey, Bella. Do you want some more Bubba? Hey, how about a little bit more milk? Um, I could totally do with a hamburger. Um, Jackson, it's not about you right now. It's about Bella. I think she's all done, hey? Well, I'm gonna put the bottle away. I'll be right back. I think she's saying that she wants a burger. Oh, Jackson, you're so silly. Babies don't eat burgers. Okay, let's have a look at Bella. Oh, Bella, you stopped crying. Maybe that's all that you needed was a little bit of milk. Awesome. Now let's put her down for a nap so we can relax. Hang on, Jackson. I want to play with her. Who's a good girl? I'm going to get the tickle monster. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Uh, Miley, I wouldn't do that after she ate. Why not? She's so cute. Look at her. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Uh oh. What's wrong? Oh, 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 ew, 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 ew. She threw up on me. Oh, gross. Oh, dude, that's a big one. Jackson, that's not funny at all. I'm gonna have to wash this off. I gotta go home. Bye. Oh, okay. See ya, Miley. Hey, Bella, good job not throwing up on your big brother. Astrid's Adoption Story I don't know where to go. Hello? Oh, I think I'm lost. Oh, no. What if there's scary bears? That, 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 that's really scary. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What do you think of the consistency of this slime? Pretty slimy, huh? I think this is the slime that I should sell at the craft fair. What do you think? 
I think that you're making a huge mess and all the slime is going all over the tables and you're gonna be in trouble soon. Okay, I'm not gonna get in trouble. Hey, do you hear that? It's coming from outside. Um, I can hear it a little bit. What is that? Is that Juliet? Isn't she supposed to be at daycare though? Yeah, she's at daycare. That's not her. Let me have a look. Oh, that's not Juliet. That's a little girl. I've never seen her before, and she's crying. Poor thing. I hope she didn't hurt herself. I don't see a mommy. Is she all by herself? I gotta go have a look outside and talk to her. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, she's still crying. I better go over there. <gasps> Hey, hey, you, little girl, excuse me, hi, <laughs> hi, who are you? <laughs> I'm Bailey, who are you? I'm, I'm Astrid. Well, hi, Astrid, I live over here in this house, and I saw you crying, so I thought I'd come out here. What's wrong with you? Are you hurt? What's wrong? Um, um, my, my family moved and they packed all the dolls, but they forgot me. And, and, and I'm trying to find them, but I don't think they're anywhere. Maybe, maybe they didn't want to take me. What? That's nonsense. Why wouldn't they take you? Look at you. You're adorable. Where do you think your family moved to? Uh, and they moving to Australia. I I think they must be already on a plane without me. <laughs> Why did they forget me? <laughs> oh, Astrid, I am so sorry. Oh, Australia is a long way away. You know what, Astrid? I have a really really good idea. <gasps> um, what what is your idea? My mom and I and all my siblings live in this house over here, and you should just come and live with us. You know, we got so much room, and my mom is really, really nice. She is? Do you think she will like me? I really do think she will like you, yes. You are adorable. Now let me help you up. Come on. There we go. Now let's go to my house, and we'll have some cookies, and then you can meet my mommy. Do you think it will be okay? Alright, so this is where I live. Oh, it's very, very nice. It's, it's big. Yeah, I guess it's pretty big. But, you know, it's much harder to tidy up a bigger house. Uh, I guess that's very, very true. Where's your mommy? Oh, my mom, she's not here yet. She's working. But when she gets home, you'll meet her and I think she will like you. And then we can ask her if she can adopt you. Really? Bailey. Bailey. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Brianna. How's it going? Remember that girl that was crying outside? Well, this is her over here. This is Astrid. And Astrid, this is my big sister, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Oh, hi, Astrid. Um, how's it going? Are, are you okay? I saw you crying outside. Yeah, I'm okay now. I might get adopted by your mommy, Bailey says. Oh, Oh, did she really say that? Oh, um, Bailey, can I show you something over there for a minute? Over where? Over there by the chair. I think Juliet might have spilled one of your slimes. What? She did what? I better go have a look at that. I'll be right back, Astrid. Okay, I'll be right here. Bailey, you can't just invite a stranger into the house. I'm not doing that. She's not a stranger. Her name is Astrid, and her family moved to Australia and forgot her. So there, that's her story, and now you know her. Her family moved to Australia without her? That's terrible. I know it's terrible. I mean, look at her. She's just one tiny doll. She's not going to survive out there without a family, without a home. Look at her. Oh, yeah, she is really tiny and really, really adorable. So what do you think we should do? Are we just going to ask Mommy if she can adopt another doll? Yeah, but I have a plan. We should really dress her up and make her look even cuter than she already is. You know, let's put some bows in her hair, maybe put on a really cute dress on her, and then she's going to look irresistibly adorable, just like me. And before you know it, Mommy's going to be like, Oh my god, I want to adopt her. 
And you think that's gonna be that easy with mom? Sure, look at all the dolls that mommy has. If we don't end up adopting her, she's not going to have a family. Hey Astrid, how about we go downstairs and we'll change you into a really, really cute outfit. Yeah, you're gonna look super cute when you meet our mom. Okay, I'd love to do that. What should I wear? Um, let me decide when we get downstairs. I'm like a fashion designer. Alright Astrid, there's just one question. Monkey or flowers? Are you a monkey girl or you're a flowers girl? I know I'm a monkey girl. <laughs> uh, I think... I think I like the monkey dress, yeah. You would look adorable in it. Look at me. I like this dress. It looks so cute on me. Yeah, and you know what? Your shoes are actually matching it. That's so cute. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? There's something missing. We need to do something with her hair. Like what? What do you want to do with her hair? I don't know. Something. Is there anything you want to do with your hair, Astrid? Do you want anything in your hair like bows or anything? Yeah, sure. That would look adorable. Okay. Oh, I know. I got an idea. How about you wear my headband? That would look so cute on you. Oh, okay. That sounds good. There we go, a little brush right here. And thank you for coming to Bailey Salon, where everybody leaves super duper duper cute. <laughs> thank you, Bailey. Okay, so I think you're all done. How do you feel? I feel really cute. Thank you for dressing me. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, you were cute before, and you're cute now. So, you know, you're just cute overall. <laughs> do you think your mom's going to adopt me? Of course! She loves cute dollies. What if mom isn't going to adopt her? What's going to happen? One hour later. Alright, alright, alright. You look perfect. We did such a good job. You think so? I think so. I look adorable. Of course you do. You got a makeover by me and I'm really, really adorable, you know? That's how it goes. So, so... When am I going to meet your mommy? Oh, you're going to meet her very, very soon. Hey, Bailey. Bailey, I need to talk to you. What's up? How are you going to ask mommy about this? Oh, you know, it's going to be very, very simple. Like, I'm going to introduce her, and then I'm going to say that I found her outside. And then, I think I might just ask her, Hey, can we adopt her? You're going to ask her just like that? That's so casual. Brianna, listen, I'm going to drop my fan. And I'm going to go get mommy because my plan will work. You'll see. Oh, mommy. Mommy, I need to talk to you. Be right back, Astrid. So this is my dolphin. You can totally play with it if you want to. Oh, thank you. It's adorable. Okay, everybody, get in position and look adorable. Well, you already do. So it's okay. My mommy's going to be here in a second. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, girls. How's it going? Oh, you have a friend here. Hello. Yes, I have a friend right here. This right here, Mommy. This is Astrid. I found her outside. She was crying. Oh, no. Are you okay? What happened? It's nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. But what happened? What was wrong? Well, I found her outside, and it turns out... That Astrid's family went to Australia and moved there without her, and they abandoned her. Isn't that awful? They forgot about her. And now she's available for adoption. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, really? Um, Bailey, can I talk to you over there in the kitchen? Sure, Mommy. I'll be right there. Okay, you girls just hang out here. I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good, Mommy. Bailey... Are you telling me that you brought in a stranger from outside? Yeah, but she was crying. You still need my permission even if she's crying. Oh, oopsie. I'll remember that for next time, I promise. So, how are we on that adoption thing? Do you think we can adopt her? Isn't she adorable? Come on, she's adorable, isn't she? Well, she's very, very cute, but are you sure that she has no family? I am very, very sure. She said that her family left to move to Australia and they packed all the dolls and they forgot her. I mean, that poor thing, where is she gonna go? She needs a family. And you, you have way too many dolls. So what's one more for ya? Don't you feel bad for her? 
Of course I feel really, really bad for her. Who wouldn't? Okay, listen. Let me go talk to her first, okay? So give me a few minutes with her. Hey, girls. I was wondering if I can talk to Astrid alone for a second. Sure, Mommy. Just call me if you need me. Okay, sweetie. Here, let's put you over here on this chair. Okay. So, Astrid, how are you feeling after everything that happened today? I'm... I, I'm... I'm very, very sad. You're very, very sad? Yeah. And, and... And mad. I'm very sad and mad. So, do you miss your family? Yeah, I miss them. Aw, of course you do. Okay, how about we do this? I'm going to help you find your family. We're going to put lots of ads up everywhere. And then, until then, you should stay with us and we'll be your family until you find your old family. What if... what if I don't find my family? Then you can stay with us as long as you want that. Alright, alright, alright. What are we going to watch tonight? Bailey, why do you always get to have the remote? How about you give the remote to somebody else? You're right. I'm sorry. Here you go, Astrid. You can choose what we're going to watch tonight on TV. Oh, thank you. That's exciting. Can you switch to Teen Titans Go, though? Bailey, let her choose. All right, all right, all right. Go ahead, Astrid. Pick your channel. Little Derek's Adoption Story Hey, Missy Miss. Today, I am going to be telling you a story. A story of how a little baby brother came into our doll family. It was a Friday afternoon after school, and Bailey and Brianna were chilling in the living room. Hey, Brianna. Brianna, check this out. Look what I built on Roblox. In a minute, I'm just finishing studying, okay? I have to read this. Why? Is your teacher making you do a test right before Christmas break? That's lame! Hey, just quickly look at this for a second. I don't have a quiz or a test, I just want to be caught up in ahead of everybody else. So I'm going to finish this. Plus, you build stuff all the time. Ah, uh, yeah, but this one is very, very special. I'm sure it is. Now, could you be quiet so I could finish reading this? Whoa, 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 excuse me. You don't tell me to be quiet. Oh, really? Be quiet. Oh, no, you didn't. You come over here. Give me that book. Stay away from my book. Give me. This is what I think of your book. Now, you're going to come look at my Roblox? Did you just chuck my book? That's so immature. I said immature, not mature. Guys, what's going on over here? Why are you arguing? She chucked my book while I was studying. Yeah, well, Brianna's boring. Bailey, you can't just chuck someone's book because you think they are boring. That's not nice. Here you go, sweetie. Here's your book. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. Now, I wanted to talk to you girls about something. Okay. I was wondering, how would you girls feel if we adopted another boy? What? You want to adopt another doll? Yeah, I heard that there's this little boy in the orphanage and he needs a home. Oh, really? Poor thing. Listen, lady, don't you think you have enough dolls? What do you need another doll for? You just adopted one last month. And how old is he? He's a year old. Aw, a year old? That's so cute, isn't it, Bailey? He's a toddler. A toddler. That's so much work, Mommy. You don't need more work. Especially I don't need more work. It was actually pretty tough convincing Bailey that we should get another baby brother. I explained to Bailey and Brianna that this little boy did not have any family and that if we didn't adopt him, he might still be on Christmas at the orphanage without anyone. Bailey all of a sudden had a change of heart. You know what, Brianna? I think we could have another brother. You know what, Bailey? I think you're right. Okay, well, let's go with mommy to the orphanage and let's bring something for him. Okay, that sounds good. I'm so excited. Me too. So, Bailey and Brianna headed over to the orphanage with me to meet little Derek. Hi, Derek. It's me, remember? I brought Bailey and Brianna along. Hey, Derek. 
Derek, being a shy toddler, got scared and hid behind the bed. He didn't know Bailey, and he didn't know Brianna. Hey, it's okay. Why are you hiding behind the bed? I think he's being shy, Bailey. I think he's a little bit scared of us. Oh, it's okay. Guess what? We're going to be your new big sisters. And I brought you a sandwich. Ham and guacamole. Bailey, I think most toddlers have never tried guacamole. Really? Oh, that's a shame, cuz... Mm -mm -mm. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Guacamole, guacamole. Mm -mm. Hey, Derek. I brought you a little stuffed toy. Look, this is a little dolphin. I want you to have it, because you're going to be my little baby brother from now on. And you can take care of my little stuffed dolphin. I get the... Eventually, Derek came out of hiding. You know what? Mm -mm -mm. He's actually pretty adorable. I know, he's too cute. Eventually, after a lot of paperwork, I got to take Derek home. Come on, sweetie. Let's go home. <laughs> and that's the story of how we adopted another baby boy. Come on, girls. Let's go home. So, is he going to be home with us now? Till, like, forever? Yeah, that's what adoption is. Oh, okay. Well, can we go through McDonald's drive through Sarah's adoption story. Hey, Missy Moose, this is Jackson. Many of you remember in our last episode, Missy Moo went to take the little girl that she found in the hot car and she took her to the police station. While she was doing that, I was stuck babysitting pretty much everybody. And, well, it didn't end so well because uh, baby Juliet, she had a temper tantrum. But anyways, back to the little girl. Because this is what the story is all about. You want to know what happened to the little girl. Missy Moo brought her over to the police station because she probably has a mommy that, you know, is missing her and stuff. So Missy Moo went there to drop her off. Aww. Mwah. Bye, sweetheart. I hope your mommy's going to claim you very, very soon. I know you're meant to have a family. Don't worry, everything will be okay. So the little girl waited at the police station. The police did take good care of her, but she waited and waited and waited. And she slept many nights at the police station and no one ever showed up to come and claim her. Mama? Meanwhile, I have actually gotten very, very good at babysitting. Missy Moo asked me a few more times to babysit, and I knew just what to do. Juliet, I'm going to tell your mom if you don't stop. Uh, Juliet, all better. Ready to go to bed. Night, night. Yep, that's me now. I'm the boss of babysitting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Juliet, you be a good girl. Night, night. Night, night, Jackson. Yep, I had everything under control. Thank you so much, Jackson, for babysitting on such short notice. I really appreciate it. Here's your money. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Anytime, I'll pop by and babysit. Um, Mommy, uh, did you hear at all about the little girl? What happened to her? Is she still at the police station? Yeah, did anyone come and pick her up yet? Well, I just got off the phone with someone there, and no one has still picked her up. She's still there. Oh, oh no. Well, that's no good. The poor little girl. Why does she not have a family that wants to claim her? I don't know, Jackson. And they did say, though, that they're going to give her up for adoption. So that way, at least, she'll have a chance to have a family. Well, well can we adopt her? Unfortunately, we can't. I already spoke to them and they said they want her to go to a family that's much smaller than ours because she needs more attention. So that was pretty upsetting when I heard that. And I ended up going home shortly after that. And I sat on my couch watching some TV with my little baby sister, Bella. Bella is the most perfect little baby sister you can ask for. If I want to watch The Simpsons, then she wants to watch The Simpsons. If I want to watch a show about cars, uh, 
then she wants to watch a show about cars. She's so perfect. I really love my baby sister. I kept on thinking a lot about the poor little girl from the hot car who doesn't have a family. That's really sad. Anyways, my mom came home. Ah, uh, my two little muffin pies sitting on the couch. How are you two doing? Oh, hey mom. Um, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. That night, me and my mom talked for about an hour, and I was telling her the story of what has happened. How Bailey and Brianna found a little girl in a hot car, and how she doesn't have a family now. It was a pretty sad conversation, and I did go to bed shortly after. A few days later, something magical happened. A family filled out an application for the little girl at the police station, and the application got approved. Yup, she finally had a permanent home. She was lucky. She had a mommy and a daddy, and she had a nice big couch where she could sit with her big brother and another little baby sister. That's right. My parents adopted the little girl, and we named her Sarah. So yeah, that's the story of what has happened to the little girl in the hot car. Now she has a family, and I have two sisters now. Life is pretty good, hey? I just wish that sometimes Sarah would let me watch The Simpsons again. But oh well. <laughs>